Hi, please take a seat. How can I help today? Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Do you know what kind of coverage you're looking for? Okay. Yep, got stuff for that. That's perfect. Have you got a phone on you? Okay, the first thing I want you to do is take a little questionnaire and it's done on your phone. So if you just open the camera. Yeah, you see that QR code there? Just hover over that QR code and it should bring a link up. Yep, just click the link. And that's just going to ask you a few questions. Um, and then at the end it will take a, a picture of your face to get your skin colour. So is it both? And then you would just put combination. Yep, then none. If you do, I mean, some people put those on and it has no reaction at all. Some people put them on and it does get very tingly and stingy. Um, so I would just pop sensitive down. And a lot of our products are designed for sensitive skin anyway, so it doesn't really narrow the range at all. Yeah, and if you just face that light and just hold the, the camera away so your face fits in the circle and take a picture. Okay, what it'll do is it'll analyse what products are best for you um, and also give us a, um, a colour for the, the foundation. Have a look. Okay, I actually think that's, I think that's this one actually. Right, it is. That's handy. Um, so, you said you didn't want to, um, you don't wear foundation at all now? Yeah. Well, this is a, an easy step. This is like the first step. So you're not going from no foundation to having to put it on and, like you said, you don't want your skin all one colour. So this is a, a nice stepping stone to see whether you still want just to have a light coverage or whether you actually want to go a little bit heavier. So this is the light tinted moisturiser. Um, so this is actually in your colour. So I'm just going to show you on that. So when you put it on your hand, it does actually look a lot like um, the foundation, so it just looks like you're putting foundation on. I just put a bit on. So you see, I can blend it in there. So although it, although it goes on, you can see it just. Adds a little bit of colour um, and a tiny bit of coverage, but you've still got all of the details under your skin coming through, which is what you want. So it does just warm your face up a little bit, and maybe if there's any dark circles or blemishes, it just gives them a little bit of light coverage. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit on your face. You said you didn't want to get um, foundation because you feel like it's very cakey. 
foundation has changed a lot since um, we were very young. Um, you can get a light foundation, but if you're not used to wearing it, then it can still feel very heavy if you're not used to it. So just My hands are clean, I sanitised them before you came in. So I'm just putting it on like a very light under eye and just a little bit on your cheek. Just so you can see a difference from either side And you don't need much um, You can use this on your own if you want because it is a moisturiser Or you can put a moisturiser on first, let it soak in So maybe try putting your moisturiser on you know, 10-15 minutes before your makeup, just pop it on and get on with some other things and then go back and the moisturiser should have soaked into your skin a bit. Okay, just have a look in the mirror. So you can see it's very, very subtle. It gives you that very light coverage that you're after gives you a little bit of warmth to your face but it doesn't feel, it just feels like you've got moisturiser on your face just pop that to one side and then I'll get you a, a full one um, the other things come in boxes so I'll just pop that down there okay your daily makeup removal routine how is that? I'm going to pretend I never heard that <laughs> I mean hand soap is soap um, and if you're in the shower and you take a makeup off with your shampoo you're definitely saving time but those things can be a little bit harsh on your skin and I can see just just on the side of your jaw either side there and then just in your eyebrows you've got a little bit of dryness and flakiness in your eyebrows and that is probably a combination of your skin, but you're using soap that is too harsh. Um, so different parts of your body require, you know, different things. So your skin on your face is a lot more delicate because you're putting makeup on. It is going through that bit extra, so it needs a little bit of care. So you do want something to be able to take the makeup off and clear out your pores you also want something gentle because your skin does look like it's um, been tortured a little bit by the hand, hand soap so I've got something here and this is a hot cloth cleanser now this is absolutely delightful it's um it's raw skin types so it is suitable for yours it 
it's got vitamin C, E, B5 and red ginseng in um, and all you do is um, so you'd take, you don't even need a full squirt, that's only half a squirt and then you just massage this dry so you don't put any water on so you would just massage this into the skin all over, apart from your eyes, you'd leave your eyes massage it in and it smells absolutely oh it smells so nice, have a smell it does and I think that's what they've been aiming for because a lot of products when we go to spas it really gives us you know you know you're in a spa because their products just smell absolutely delightful um so you'd just massage it into your skin and you'll see your makeup starting to lift and come out your pores as you're massaging in it get um a cloth which i would just show you I don't have any water here but these cloths actually come with the cleanser so it's a, it's a hot cloth cleanser so you get this cloth with it just open this up so this is the um the cloth, it's like, um, it's almost like a kind of a, a cheese cloth. Um, and what you do is you just pop it into some nice hot, but not too hot, water. Give it a squeeze out, and then you just pop it on your face. It will open your pores up, and then you just wipe the cleanser off. Um, and you'll notice the makeup just coming all out to the pores and leaving your face clean but also moisturised that and that comes with the cleanser um, So they have designed a luxurious cleanser that feels like a spa treatment for your skin So the muslin cloth is designed to exfoliate your skin um, It does say one to two pumps but if you don't wear a lot of makeup you can probably just get away with one pump under dry fingertips um, and then massage and if when you're putting it on your face, it can give your face a little massage so there is that one there or we can... you want to take this one? yeah so I'll just put that on there so it's your cleansing routine um, I'll just quickly jump back to the makeup now this is a, an eye cream, um, just show you, this cream is, it's very slightly tinted, let me just pop a bit on you, and, okay, so rub it in, now eye creams on, you don't have to have them, it is just nice if you, um, you know, if you're getting some fine lines there, just to give it a little bit of extra love there and you can see you can't really see it, the tint is so, so subtle but they, they put the tint in so that if you're putting the cream on it's a whiteness, because usually a cream is white, it's not actually lightening your eyes so they've put it there just to balance it out and it, it does soften it up a little bit, doesn't it? But, um, I would maybe suggest, have you ever used a serum before? No? Let me just, actually let me just wipe your, um, 
then you end up with lots of product everywhere. targets the lower layers of, uh, of your skin. So this one doesn't have retinol and this this actually um, encourages the skin to renew quicker so this is all brand new stuff so I'm used to our old our old range this is all stuff we've just got in the past day um, so it's got hyaluronic acid in and again it replenishes the skin and encourages the skin to renew I want you to try this. Just rub that in a little bit. And I love serum because it just goes on so silky and smooth. And you can put that on around your eyes. You can use that specifically around your eyes, um, under your eyes and all, all like down the side. So I've put that on. Leave it as if you can feel it soaked in, hasn't it? I would let it soak in a couple of minutes and then put a, a normal cream on top. Um, but that would be maybe an alternative to the eye cream. Um, so see have an imposter. Not sure how that got there. I do actually use that brand brush. Um, so I can actually give you these as um, samples. So we have the water surge gel. And I've got a very particular that. So you don't really need that one. So I'm going to give you um, give you the water surge cream and try that out. I'm going to give you that as a sample and see what you feel. So that's just a, um, a daily a daily one to try. So smooth off the face and neck after cleansing. You could use this as an evening cream if you wanted. Um, but you said you're after a day and night cream. So in this range we have the um, this is from the Hydroluminous, which is from this one. So the the kind of teal ones are one. Um, so this is the Hydroluminous and it's SPF 15. Um, and it's just a really nice light day lotion. You would put your serum on, give that a couple of minutes to set in and pop this on. And it just... See, we've got the serum there. Just give it a nice. Then it doesn't. It has a very, very light fragrance. I know sometimes fragrance can irritate skin, but also if you have a cream that has no fragrance, sometimes it's a bit, you know chemicals can age and then it can start to smell unpleasant but this is a really really subtle light fragrance so with this one 
you can feel straight away it doesn't sink into the skin as quickly so that's why I would always say leave this maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes if you can to really soak into the skin so that your face doesn't feel sticky when you're putting other things on top so that is a day cream for a night cream um, well for night time I'm actually going to do this as well so this is the illuminating hydrogel eye mask I'm going to give you one of these as a sample to try and these are nice just for a, that little extra treat every now and again um, just once you've taken all of your makeup off pop these on 10-15 um, minutes take off and then you can put your creams on for the evening really luxurious I often use them when I'm doing an eye mask an eye mask a foot mask so I've got my like little foot booties on and then I put an eye mask on it's just lovely so the um, cream we've got this is a suitable for sensitive skin this is the advanced protect and perfect intense and this is now I do Oh, they're great, you can, it's very light, isn't it? Now this, so the day and night cream, it's, a uh, day cream is a lot lighter, so it doesn't weigh your skin down, it's, it's not really, um, I don't want to use the word oily or greasy, but sometimes when you put a night cream on, you can really feel it on your skin. But a, a night cream is usually more intense because you're not putting anything on top of it So it is a little bit heavier just so it can moisturise your skin So if you give me your other hand Just put a little bit on that And I put a little bit on my hand So if you give it a rub in It's nice and creamy. Now if we go back to your hand, you should be able to feel that it's soaked in. It's very soft. Yeah. Oh, my hands are constantly soft because all I'm doing all day is just putting them on. But you can feel that that is soaked in now, so that is prime to put some um, makeup on. We, if we give this a little second, you will feel, yeah, you can still kind of feel that it's soaked in, it's dry, but it, it feels thicker, more luxurious, and that's just because you've got the whole night just to focus on kind of plumping your skin up and getting that moisture in there. So... I've got the, I'm going to get a new shield and defend in light, yep, so let me go over to the register, I'll get you one of them, um, I'll give you that, and it was the water gel as a sample to try that, um, actually let me, Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to not do the water gel, I'm going to give you the overnight recovery gel cream to try because this, because this is from the Hydroluminous range and this is the Protecting Perfect one so it, it's just, this is the same range as the day cream so what will you have to have? okay We'll look at the, yeah, I'm trying to think, so yeah, this is the Hydroluminous Day Lotion, <clears throat> and this is the, the same one, but in night. So we have the serum, and the day lotion, okay. Yeah, I mean, that obviously is lovely, so what you can do is you can try the sample of that, and see how that sits with you. Um, 
you can you can get both if you want. You can. I would maybe suggest waiting. Just try this out because this is the night cream. Because you've also got the so you've got the hot cloth cleanser, the day lotion, the serum. Giving the sample of the night cream, the eye one, and then we have the shield and defend. Yeah. No, they're in there. So the, the bottle is in here and then the the hot cloth is all well it's not hot. The cloth is also in here. Yeah. And obviously if you if you like this or you want to try the other one then just pop back in a couple of weeks time. I mean this should be this should be at least two three weeks if not a month's worth of uh, face cream so after you've tried this then feel free to come back and um, get that one and see how you get on with that. Okay, right let's get this all backed up for you. <laughs> 